Hi, this is Scoggin. And today what I'm doing is I'm doing a beer review. And uh, the beer what I'm going to uh, review is uh, a beer called Ham's. Uh, if you're not familiar with Ham's beer, it's been around a long time. I mean, uh, the last time I had Ham's beer was back in 19, like, 83, I believe it was. And I haven't seen it since, and, and I was in the store the other day, and I saw the hams, and just wanted to uh, uh, try it out and uh, do a review on it. I remember uh, growing up, the old commercials would come on TV, and it had a, a black uh, bear, and uh, I believe there was a little Indian boy, and it would be playing like an Indian song, and it would say, something from the land of sky blue water, something like that. And that was a trademark. Uh, they had the Ham's Bear. Uh, let's see what, what it says here. It says, uh, since 1865, it says Ham's, it says, America's classic premium beer, born in the land of sky blue waters. Brewed in true family tradition from pure purest water and choice is barley malt, grains and hops. And let's see uh, if we can find out who makes it. It's uh, Ham's Brewing Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And they don't say anything about alcohol content. I'm thinking it's probably anywhere from 4 to uh, 4.5 to maybe 5 percent. And uh, I did research a little bit and found out that hams were uh, made by the Miller Brewing Company. So uh, I did find that out, but I did not get the alcohol content and I do not see one on here. So, uh, like I say, I'm uh, thinking it's uh, between maybe uh, four and five percent, somewhere between there. but. Without further ado, what we're going to do is go ahead and open this. And I'm kind of anxious about uh, opening it because, like I say, I haven't uh, drank one since uh, 1983. And uh, we'll see how, how it is. I couldn't find it in bottles, but I did find it in the cans. So I don't know if they haven't come out with bottles yet or, or what. But we'll go ahead and pour it and just see how, how it looks and everything. And then give it a taste test. It's got a real light amber color to it. And uh, notice that the uh, head disappears quite, uh, quite fast, but it's got a lot of carbonation in it. You can see it has a lot of carbonation in it. And it's a really, like a light colored beer. Real light amber. Move this can over here. And I mean, see if I can smell anything here. Mm. You can smell the uh, beer smell. It smells of, of like the hops and the barley and, and uh, everything. It's not overcoming, but you can smell it. It don't have a bad smell to it. it uh, in fact, it's, it has a quite pleasant smell. And the carbonation is really good because it still is bubbling. I mean, it's like a, just, it's, you can see it right there, it's just bubbling. So it has a lot of carbonation in it. And it's got a pretty color to it. So, I'm going to go ahead and give it a, a try now. Mm. It's got like a a creamy, uh, smooth, creamy uh, texture in your mouth, and it go when it goes down, 
it is smooth going down. There's no burn to it. I do taste an aftertaste, and the aftertaste is there. I mean, it's the aftertaste is there. It's not bad tasting beer. I'll try it again here. It has real nice feel in the mouth. It, like I say, it's smooth. It's uh, not got a lot of burn to it, but it. It does, it does have an aftertaste. I, I'll give it that. I mean, I can taste it. Uh, it's not a bad beer. Uh, in fact, it uh, still smells the, the beer smell, but it's not like a bad smell. It don't smell bad at all. And I rate my beer, beers from uh, five being the highest and one being the lowest. And uh, we go ahead and take another drink, then we'll see about rating it. Really a pleasant taste to it. I'm really surprised. Uh, with all in all, I would have to give this one a rating of uh, right about four. Uh, believe it or not, four. And the only reason why it didn't really get a five is because I taste that aftertaste. That it just a lingering aftertaste there. If it wasn't for that, it would be a, a pretty good beer. It's a pretty good beer now. And uh, would I buy it again? Yeah, I'll buy it again. When I'm in the mood for a uh, ham's beer, there's nothing wrong with it. It's uh, a cheap beer. It would, would, didn't cost very much, and uh, I was I'm really surprised at the flavor of it and and everything for being such a cheap beer. But yeah, I'd buy it buy it again. Uh, like I said, I rated it a four. I call them as I see them, uh, but. It's not a bad beer at all. This is Skogit. Uh, hope you uh, like the video. Uh, hope you enjoy my beer reviews. Uh, like I say, I call them the way I see them. Uh, you can either disagree or agree with me. It's it's fine, and I appreciate all comments because I really like your opinion on it, uh, what you think about about the certain beers. And uh, this this is uh, Skogit. And uh, appreciate all you viewers and subscribers. I'll have more uh, beer reviews coming up. And y'all take care.